The movie begins with a construction contractor called Hartman Construction that is developing apartments in the east end of London. Two workers accidentally discover what appears to be the tomb of King Charles II. After breaking into the tomb, instead of finding a lot of treasures, they unknowingly awaken two skeleton corpses which bite them in the neck transforming them into zombies. The scene moves to Terry and his younger brother Andy who just bought a van that will be used later for the bank robbery. It seems like an old van and Terry complains as he is unable to start the car. However, Andy can easily start the car which makes his brother silent. After that, they go back to work as food delivery boys. While on their way, they are confronted by Mental Mickey who is the weapons supplier for their robbery. Mickey used to be a war veteran who now has a metal plate in his forehead. He even attempts to knock his head to the car without feeling pain at all. In a construction site, a project supervisor seeks out for the two disappeared workers, wanting to offer them a new job. He goes into the underground bunker. Meanwhile, at Bo Bell's nursing home, Ray, Andy and Terry back grandfather, comes out and scolds the teenagers outside the facility. It turns out that they are Daryl customers, who sell pills to them for a living. Not long after, the brothers arrive at the nursing home and also get scolded by their granddad after delivering the meals late. Ray suggests they find another job as delivering meals to pensioners is not a lifetime profession. It is revealed that the facility will be demolished soon by the contractor when Ray forces the engineer, who is doing some measurements, to leave the cafeteria. While all the grandpas and grandmas are eating at the cafeteria, Hamish secretly takes a peek at a sexy girl and he even teases the nurse. Before Andy and Terry depart from the the nursing home, they flash back the moment when the boy's parents gave them a short lecture before loading up a pair of shotguns and stepping out of the house to confront the somebody. Presumably, their parents were in a shootout as they now live with their granddad. A few moments later, a news report says that several workers were mysteriously injured in the construction site. The brothers get back to the van and subsequently pick up other team members which are Davy, their cousin Katie who has a lockpicking ability, and Mickey. Davy claims that it is the right time to rob the bank as the security cameras are shut down due to security upgrades. Before arriving, Terry reminds Mickey to hold the fire during the robbery and Davy gives the group stupid mustaches as a disguise tool. Upon arrival, they are welcomed by the bank manager, which makes them confused. It turns out that there was an arrangement between the bank and Hartman Construction and she thinks that they are the representatives from the company. Because the robbers cannot show her the form to get the money, the bank manager becomes suspicious and secretly presses the emergency button. Mickey threatens her with his gun and forces her to take them to the vault. Expecting to only find a few thousand pounds, they are shocked when they see 2.5 million pounds sitting in front of them. They take all the money and attempt to leave the bank. However, they discover that the police have surrounded the bank and order them to turn themselves in. Mickey suddenly shows up with his shotgun and starts shooting toward the police while returning back to the bank. While the elders are having fun, Hamish spots that the zombies are approaching the nursing home, but he doesn't realize that it is zombies. Not long after, the zombies have reached the nursing home and start attacking the nurses, causing chaos inside the building. Ray takes a chainsaw and starts eliminating the emerging zombies. Realizing that the zombies keep coming, those old people run away from there and lock themselves, attempting to escape through the back door, but the zombies have surrounded them. No ways out. Ray concludes that all they have to do is wait until they are picked up by someone. After their bank heist goes awry, they decide to take two hostages, Clive and Emma, and try their luck to escape. However, the police have been massacred as the zombie outbreak has spread throughout the city. Bodies can be seen all around the street and some of them are getting up. They get into the van with the stolen money. Before departing, Andy picks up a dying girl as they make their escape. Unfortunately, the girl turns into a zombie and Mickey has no other option than to blast her with his shotgun. They eventually arrive at an old factory where a wild zombie suddenly appears. Mickey repeatedly shoots the slow zombie, but it keeps moving as he doesn't hit the head. The zombie then bites his arm, forcing Katie to take the shotgun and blows the zombie's head off, though its jaw is still clinging to Mickey's arm. A few moments later, a woman zombie approaches and Mickey immediately blows her head off. He tries to save the infant, but turns out that he is already infected and he has to kick him away into a billboard. The group then get inside the factory while Terry and Katie seek for information from the van radio. They discover that the whole city has been infected. One of the hostages threatens the robbers, saying that he has memorized the robbers' faces and will report them to the police. Mickey shuts him up by headbutting him in the face. Terry then shows up and suggests they go to the nursing house and rescue the elders. Katie reveals that they are doing the robbery to prevent the contractor from demolishing their grandfather's nursing home. Mickey starts acting strange and steals the key from Terry, 
Thinking that they are going to run off with the stolen money, he leaves and takes the hostages with him to a side room where a wild zombie appears and attacks him. Mickey manages to kill the zombie with his bare hands, then ties the hostages up and sits. On the other side, Ray sees Hamish having a nap in the backyard where zombies are approaching. The old man can't hear what Ray is saying, but he eventually becomes aware of the situation and starts running towards them while being chased by slow zombies. Losing his patience, Ray decides to come out, punches several zombies, and rescues the old man while being assisted by the others. In the factory, a zombie lunges at Andy by the shutters, but Terry pulls the zombie off him and smacks it with a shovel while Katie shoots his head off with a pistol. When the hostages try to break free, Mickey suddenly turns into a zombie and attacks them. The group try to shoot him, but then realize that his head is made of metal plate. Terry eventually kills him with a grenade he put in his mouth. After that, Clave takes the shotgun and becomes c telling the robbers that he will bring them to the police. However, the zombies from behind bite them and he accidentally shoots Davy in the process. The zombies outside the factory eventually break into the building. They knock out several zombies while Andy runs back to the factory to retrieve the car key. The remaining survivors eventually make their escape from the factory. In the nursing home, the zombies are about to break in and Ray suggests they fight them as they are on their own and nobody is going to rescue them. They arrive at a house where Emma ill sister lives to rescue her, only to find out that she has turned into a zombie, but Emma decides not to kill her, hoping that they back find a cure someday. Realizing that they haven't got any bullets left, they head over to a container yard where Mickey stores all his weapons. After equipping themselves with guns, Terry realizes that their current car is inadequate, so Katie hotwires a double-decker bus and they immediately go to the nursing home to rescue the old men. Upon arrival, the group run towards the facility while Emma distracts the zombies with the bus. Katie kicks a zombie off the roof while Andy shoots two zombies off the balcony. They eventually meet up with Ray, but they can't rescue them through there as the pensioners are unable to climb up. The elders equip themselves with guns and they decide to do it in a hardcore way, escaping through the front door and eliminate all the emerging zombies. Long story short, they make it to the bus and escape from the nursing home. However, the bus suddenly breaks down and they are forced to abandon it. Realizing that they back near the river, they decide to flee using a nearby boat, while being chased by the zombies. When they are about to embark, they realize that the boat is still chained up. Ray jumps off the boat to release the chain. He appears to get overwhelmed by the zombie horde, but he still manages to survive and shoots all the zombies surrounding him. The brothers and Katie assist their granddad and they eventually leave after killing all the zombies. As the boat is departing, Ray starts shooting down a mob of zombies on the riverbank. Subscribe to watch more videos like this, turn on notifications, and leave a like to help the channel out. Thank you for watching.